what's up guys we're going to overclock and connect our ps4 ps5 controllers to our pc for xbox game pass games um yeah let's get right into it all right so first things first you're going to want to install uh, ds4 windows i'm going to leave the link to that in the description below it's one of the best softwares i've found to do it it allows you to do the most um it's probably the easiest too so uh the link to that is right below click on that it's going to bring you to this page right here um you just click that green download button that says download now um it's going to bring you to this page here it's going to say some sort of version um if it's recent to when this up video was uploaded it's probably going to say this number right here but as long as it says latest next to it um you're going to be good so you're going to want to download this ds4 windows 3018 64 zip file not the 64 7 not the 86 7 um, just this one right here and then once you download that you're going to extract the files and open the main application file of ds4 windows it's going to have a blue and pink little controller icon right here you're going to click on that in the file and it's going to bring you to ds4 windows from here i want you just to go ahead and um, connect that controller and it's going to pop up right on the screen like here um, i don't know what it's going to say because your controller might be different than mine i am running on a scuff impact right now it's definitely not the newest got four paddles in the back um, so yeah, once you go into here, uh, the first thing you want to do is just go into the settings and make sure this run at startup box is checked. Um, that's going to make sure that your, uh, that your program is running at startup so you can play, the, play with your controller every time you start your computer without manually running the software and so forth. So then we're going to go back to profiles here. Um, and this is where you're going to create called profiles for whatever you want your controller, uh, how you want your controller to feel and how you want to act. Um, so you're going to hit new, make a new profile here. You're going to want to choose a preset option. So you're, you're going to hit yes here and you're going to use the gamepad option, hit apply. And that's going to open up your profile options pad settings page. We're going to go straight to other. Once we get to other here, first thing we're going to want to do is go down to emulated controller and make that uh, DualShock 4 if you're not playing on an Xbox controller, which is probably why you're at this video. So make that DualShock 4 and then our pull rate, we're going to make 1000 1ms. So we're going to 1000 hertz 1ms um, and that's going to be overclocking your controller to the fastest uh, and least latency that your controller could possibly get. So that's really fun. Uh, we're going to turn that right on and then first things first really important on ps4 and ps5 controllers is the the uh, touchpad obviously playing games and on a pc um, and accidentally touching your touchpad sucks because it automatically thinks you're inputting it on keyboard um, for some reason it's automatically binded to the mouse the touchpad is so i can actually move the uh, cursor around with my with my finger here obviously you can see the cursor moving around um, so we want to disable that so what you're going to want to do is click on um, the four actual different options so it's going to be a multi-touch which is two fingers and it's going to be a left touch a right touch and a upper touch and you can see all of those right here basically you just want to click on these we're going to click on the button we're going to click on the touchpad again and that's going to be left touch touchpad click we're essentially uh, unbinding this from anything essentially making this useless which is exactly what we want upper touch here we are touchpad click and then we're going to do uh, right touch Bingo. so all we have now is all of these are at touchpad click um, and now this touchpad is not going to be binded to anything uh, and we won't be accidentally clicking that mid game so you're just going to want to name this profile and save it. If you have any other, um, you know, options you want to change, you want to debind anything or rebind anything, um, you can do that at this point. I wouldn't mess around with your any of these dead zones or anything like that. I would probably put that, um, change that in game. Um, that way your game color is consistent um, throughout and then your games are going to be different. It's probably the easiest way to do it. Uh, but yeah, this is how I overclocked your controller and get it set up. Just make sure this program is running and you should have a good time. Have a good one, guys.